current COVID situation, most of the work in offices, institutions, schools, tuition classes, universities are carried out online. Therefore, irrespective of the age, everybody have had to do their work, education and occupation via a computer for almost an year now. With this, a major health issue that most of us get to face is visual and eye defects as a result of overexposure of our eyes to computer and phone screens. These conditions could have an acute onset without any prior symptoms or either could affect our later lives. Even right now, you may be tiring your eyes without any protective measure for a long time. So today, by this video, we are going to enlighten you about the outcomes of long-term exposure of your eyes to a computer screen and what you could do to protect your eyes. When it comes to the light emitted by computer and phone screens, the blue color light is the culprit for most of these health problems. We receive this blue light naturally through sunlight and it is very important for our lives because it boosts sleep regulation, memory and alertness. Anyways, the problem arises when our eyes get exposed to this light. This will affect both your eyes and your general well-being. At present, even school children are frequently using computers and phones. Because of that, small children's developing eyes get exposed to the blue light unnecessarily, resulting in optic maldevelopment, sleep disturbances and long-sightedness. Out of them, digital eye strain is a very common condition. Here, we get sore or irritated eyes and difficulty in focusing as symptoms. Another condition is retinal damage which causes visual impairment. If so, now we'll focus on what we can do to protect our eyes, avoiding the above conditions. First and most obvious thing you could do is to reduce the use of computers and phones. When using a computer, make sure to place your screen in a distance of 18 to 28 inches far from your eyes. Also, it is not ideal to use your phone in the dark at night. If you are using it in the dark, at least make sure to switch it to the night screen mode. Second thing is, various types of screen filters are freely available in the market. So, you can fix them to your phone and computer screens. Also, we can wear glasses that filter this blue light while using screens. However, it is super important to check your vision by a proper doctor prior to using these glasses. Because if you have even a minor defect in your vision, it may result in various side effects. Also, avoid looking at the computer screen for a very long time. Instead, follow the method of 20. That means, Take breaks once in every 20 minutes and look at a distant object around 20 meters away for at least 20 seconds. Now, let's move into what we could do according to Ayurveda to protect our eyes and get rid of eye fatigue. In the morning, fill your mouth with water and splash water onto your eyes. Also, you could light a lamp with ghee using a 100% cotton wick. Then. Keep the lamp in a distance of 3 feet and keep looking at the flame for 2 minutes. As most of us already know, placing slices of cucumber over your eyes gives them a relaxing and soothing feel. Not only that, you can consult an Ayurvedic doctor and get an eye rehydrating treatment done. Also, you can get an eye wash or an eye irrigating solution prescribed to be used at home. At present, we are so interested in collecting our memories and now it has grown to become a fashion among many. For that, we frequently use a camera. When it comes to photography, we always talk about the pixels which is the measurement we use to express the clarity of a picture. Nowadays, even when you go to buy a smartphone, the first thing you question about is the number of pixels of the phone camera. Similarly, it had found that human eye gives you a very clear image as high as 576 megapixels. So, it is obvious that everybody loves to save their memories in a clear photograph like your eye. And that's why most of them tend to buy a very good camera. Also, buying a good camera has become a future goal among many. Not only that, 
when someone owns a camera, they tend to protect it like an eye. So when it comes to a camera, from the time we buy it up to every and each day we own it, we have to take care of it like we do on our eyes. Camera LK is the most ideal place in Sri Lanka to get to know about a camera from A to Z. Previously, we mentioned how to take care of our eyes properly. Similarly, Camera LK owns a qualified staff to provide you services from how to properly handle a camera up to camera repairs. Also, you can buy all sorts of accessories you need for photography and movie making easily under one roof. If you are a person who is interested in being a professional photographer, Camera LK is conducting courses on photography for you. So Camera LK is a place where you could get the whole package from buying a camera, learning how to use a camera and taking care of a camera. We have mentioned the Camera LK website in our description for more information. If you have any problem related to modern Ayurveda or Western medicine, don't hesitate to send a message to our Medinspire phone number mentioned below. Also, if you have any problem related to your camera, feel free to call Camera LK via the phone number mentioned in the description. So if you think this video is useful, hit a thumbs up and share. Also drop a comment what you think of this video. And finally, if you still have not subscribed to our channel, don't forget to subscribe.